Alright lads, the year is 2023. Yep, uh, <laughs> we're going one month in the past for this one. Uh, as we see that we're taking control of Tunisia. Uh, for those of you who <laughs> don't know, I'm half Tunisian. I barely ever talk about it. Um, and barely ever play Tunis in this game. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing in 2023. I'm going to be taking control of my nation to prove that I am suitable as a leader. Um, currently, I have President Kais Saeed. Uh, I will also warn you that Tunisia um, is not a full democracy these days. So bear that in mind when I'm discussing Tunis. And we're rivaled by Morocco, Slovenia and Malta. Ah, yes. The enemies of Tunis. <laughs> okay. Wait, how much development do we start with? 68. <laughs> Wait, how much do we start? I swear in base game you thought we start with uh, more than that. Yeah, this is not this is not great. Um, everyone around us is stronger than us. This is an issue with Tunis. <laughs> but maybe we can nick a couple of people in terms of Fazan uh, down here. We take two provinces at least. This, of course, is the extended timeline mod. Uh, we're going to rival, I think we'll rival Malta. We're going to rival Libya. I suppose Morocco. Maybe we can ally the Algerians. I think we should probably be like starting as an... Why do we have lack of trust with the Algerians? What do you mean? We're, we're best buds with the Algerians. Oh no. Okay, we do have the Russo-Ukrainian war, which I don't think is going to play out in Ukraine's favor, given how you 4 works. Also, I don't have much confidence in our army, <laughs> given how this man is dressed and how he doesn't have... Shoes. We're losing a lot of money per month. We don't have any heavies, but at least we can get some policies going. Get artillery combat ability. Merchants, probably necessary. Grab that. I can't imagine there's many places to colonize in the world, so colonization might not be that useful. I want to see what great powers are. So it's China, United States, India, Japan, Germany, Russia, Brazil. And what's our mil tech? 88. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, why has Malta got better mil tech than me? Malta! <laughs> what have we not embraced? We haven't embraced electrification. My guy, <laughs> I feel like Tunisia's pretty electrified. It's, it's something we're good at. And we don't have the internet? Really? Origin Vaughan? That's not where it. No, okay. Well, we can construct a Corsair fleet and have Ottoman diplomacy. I think I might go for vassal taxation policy. That's probably a good idea. Eh, now nah, production efficiency. Okay, let's remove all of these. Dismantle the European Union. Dude, <laughs> the dream. Um, adopt secularism. Tunis is already secular. Okay, apparently we're Sunni. And we have a debate. I don't think this is... This, okay. You know what? Nope, avoid talking about Tunisian politics, Leith. You have family in Tunisia. All right, uh, let's go for Mates of Bonfire. We lose 20 sailors, we just execute them. That is kind of Tunisian. All right, expansion ideas I think I can get rid of, surely. Autocracy ideas. I mean, that looks good, terrible. But realistically, probably quantity, given we have about 19,000 people. I think we get rid of quantity, right? Oh, though, sorry, expansion, right? There's literally no point to having it. Okay, we got rid of it. Freedom ideas. I mean, that seems like fun. Let's do that. Issue is there aren't many trade nodes that feed into the Tunis trade node. Okay. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, well, let's just collect from trade everywhere then. The force of it is 10. Oh, God. So we have some rockets, some Churchill tanks, and some AK-47s. Jerbez Khwarij. I don't know about that, but okay. And they've turned into communist revolutionaries. That's kind of base. <laughs> okay, the United States has proclaimed itself an economic hegemon. All right. And Kai Say is actually a hell of a military leader. Who knew? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be containing the United States anytime soon. Libya announces their new rival, Standard. And we're going to go through and take out Fazan. Why do they have so much better. What? Oh my god. The hot troops suck, which I suppose is mildly appropriate. Okay, you'd give me military access. Okay, so I can march to his capital. Perfect. Because we're going to need as much land as we can take. I want to check how many troops he has. Well, he only has 4,000 troops. And how much development does he have? 10. That's that's worth it. No way, you allied Libya. Oh, we've been so contained. We've been so, so contained. Oh, no. Sorry, you allied Algeria, Morocco, Ethiopia, and Sudan. All right, Libya. 
Damn, the sieges go quick, though. Yeah, sieges aren't a thing. I think forts are, like, very necessary. Okay, we're going to vassalize what's left of them. We'll take the two provinces. Uh, let's make sure we leave the province first. Alright, we've taken land. We've expanded. Not by much, but it is something. Alright, and then we need to go and fight Malta. Which is just, that's just how I feel in real life. That's nothing to do with the game. Ah, for... It's just a few years, then it's Victoria's problem. I don't know that it is. It feels very much our problem right now. Okay, let's imperialism take Malta. Okay, so I don't know how for the... I don't know how the artillery works in this. Obviously, you want a full back row. But I don't know how well they stand up to just normal combat, because they look dramatically effective. Okay, that technically hasn't gone well, but I'm pretty sure if we just literally go again, should be okay. Because we have half his numbers. This is the Tunisian way. Human wave tactics, even though we do not have enough for that. There we go. <laughs> That's how we do it in Tunis. <laughs> Why do I have pirates? <laughs> oh god, the Somalians are here. Okay, I'm gonna look further afield. Who can we take out that isn't allied to people? Cyprus. Cyprus is allied to Turkey. Now that's unlikely. Did Israel... Did Israel just take out Lebanon? But I wasn't looking. And they're allied to the Saudi Arabians and guaranteed by the US. But yeah, I mean, that seems it lines up actually. Oh no. I can't do anything to help, so... Sorry, chaps. Malta's infiltrated our administration. Oh no, whatever will we do? Now, there is an issue with Malta, insofar as we are unable to take it. Because it requires 21 regiments to take. So... Um, we're gonna take 18 ducats. And count, oh, count yourself lucky! <laughs> okay, this is not a good start. This is even worse start. I'd be left as a one promise miner. Oh god. I mean we're going bankrupt for sure. Cancel my reactions real quick. I'm trying to do whatever I can to bait them here. <laughs> Just get the switch. We're losing so many ducats a month. Did he just leave? That's actually horrible for me. Alright. Desperate times. We need to construct a nuclear weapon. I can do that? Alright, we go. Okay, I actually don't have any cannons. Come on, come on. Yes! This is gonna get dicey very quickly in terms of our loan sizes. Alright, we gotta be able to somehow hold them off here. We are gonna go bankrupt soon. Force cultural assimilation. What's that do? But why? But what does it do? <laughs> nice. We hold, boys. We hold. Kais is dead. Alright, start heading toward mysticism. And sending fewer and fewer troops. Oh, great. A trade war. Cassus Belli. Wonderful. Excellent. Nice little kill there. I'm surprised we haven't gone bankrupt, to be honest. This is stressful. This is this is very stressful. Even though there are zero men here, I can still scorch the earth. Get out of there, lad! <laughs> okay, that's another stack wipe. Christ. Not the time. Wait, will you go over here? I don't know where you're going to go. I'll deal with you later. He keeps on, like, just hurtling men. Never should have gone to Malta. Oh, yep, the land is definitely where it's at, considering we don't actually have any navy. Not anymore, at least. Oh, Jesus. He's got access. We can't let that stand. We really cannot afford for him to land any troops in any significant numbers. God, he does <laughs> so much damage. Level on mass seems like a very good idea. <gasps> I can take land. Oh my god. So I can't take any of this land because forts, right? 
Oh, what am I doing? I, I defaulted to fighting rebels. This is not the time to fight rebels. Okay, right. Each of you needs to shift consolidate right now. There can't be that many of us left. Oh, nice. I'm so tired, man. Aw, the fleet has declined. No one can quite understand it. One moment we had a glorious neighbor, the whole nation took pride, and now the world laughs at our fleet. I mean, I, I feel like I know exactly what happened, and its name is Italy. Algeria's an infidel. What? Oh, they went secular. Okay, I'm actually going to get military access from Olivia to go and deal with that. French East Africa was that? What? I don't even know what that was. It is. French East Africa. Well, oh god, they're back! <laughs> oh no, Greece has been taken out by Turkey and Ukraine's dead. Oh no. But to be fair, Russia's now eating Belarus. You know, feels appropriate. Oh, okay, Turkey's taken a lot of Greece. I'll just go to low, damn it! Alright. I'm gonna take out a bunch. Alright, I've taken out a bunch of corruption because bankruptcy is looming. One more. One more. There we go. Yep, they're on low. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Do we take war apps? <gasps> we need the money. Like, how much in debt are we? <laughs> we? We'd go bankrupt this month. We would just be, we would just be bankrupt. So, how much are we in debt? 3,000. Yeah, this will just wipe out all our debt. Okay, perfect. This war's been going on five years. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'll take these islands. Thank you very much. Where isn't all, like, connected by forts? Uh, it doesn't seem like anywhere is. Yeah, okay. Well, that's everything we can take. We get war reps, we get money, and we take some islands. <laughs> oh, pure Tunisian power, that. All right, let's um, get rid of these. And we're going to use this money to attempt to fix our nation. Okay. Buy down the war exhaustion. Right, some number of loans. We can pay back all of them. And that is a handy addition. Gained a holy war against France. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> it's not even that long in the recording. It's been one war. Yo, Chad, let's do it. Let's have an alliance. Right, who else would ally me? Because we need some. Uh, Malaysia and Palestine. That's a very... <laughs> that's a weird alliance chain going forwards. Wait, 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 wait. Did Israel... No, Palestine's still around. Guaranteed by Syria. I don't hate the idea of ally Malaysia, but they are in a war. So, can't be doing that. Uh, what's we got? South Sudan, Luxembourg, Latvia, Mali, Central Africa. I think Saudi Arabia is hungry, okay. Saudi Arabia is probably our best shot here at like survival. Oh, Egypt. Egypt probably has power, right? You don't like the Libyans, surely. Spain declared war on Morocco. That's not something you see every day. Also, Germany has attacked the Netherlands and is fighting Poland. Uh, Germany! <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my god, look at their claims. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Cyprus declared war on Malta. Yeah, you don't have the... You don't have that. Trust me, you don't have that. You're not that guy, pal. Did you ally Norway? No, it's Bulgaria. I'm thinking I could maybe sneak into Montenegro. No, I can't. Yeah, Russia's a problem. They've taken over the Baltics and also part of Finland. And they've allied South Korea. It's that China and Slovenia. Oh, God, they've allied China. I really hope I'm not predicting the future here. Well, well Sri Lanka's being taken out by India. Yeah, Indian change of government form. I don't think that... Yep, yeah, there we go. They changed the government. The government is now Indian. Wait, is Bangladesh gone? Yeah, Bangladesh is no longer exists. Okay. So does everyone just have better tech than me? Like, everyone. Did you just... Did this model just, like, group everyone together as African? Because, like... Come on, man. We're a little different. We're rather a lot more people now. Uh, Niger could be a good one. I'm going to rival the Albanians. Libya and Albania are no longer valid rivals. I think we've embraced every institution there is. We can now only rival Ghana, of course, naturally. We could rival Belgium, which seems quite funny. Algeria. I reckon Algeria is our next target, you know. I don't like this Algerian-Libyan alliance we've got going on. I reckon we do that. We rival them. Of course, we have to rival our natural rivals, Ireland. 
That's right, we're coming for the Irish. Well, this is interesting. May raid coasts. Of course. I forgot where I came from. I forgot who I was. We're going to need some galleys, boys. <laughs> I've got big plans. Okay, we're going to flip over to a military government. That's what we need at this point in time. And that gives us the militarization mechanic. I'm becoming warlords today, boys. Looks like Russia's attacked Sweden. This is why it's a good idea to join NATO, I suppose. And here is where we make a, an enemy of all of Western Europe. We're going back to our roots, boys. Glorious raiding. Wait, he's secular, right? Oh, I suppose the province itself is Muslim. Yeah. I have a truce with you. The Greeks, though. Oh, I'm just going to keep whittling away at these lot. There you go. Eventually, they'll lose. Okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. Hmm. Can we just bring the boys home? Okay, fortunately it does look like he's heading south to deal with Chad first. Boys, get your army together, he's coming! You know the horrible thing is I could have allied Saudi Arabia. If, uh, if I was a little bit quicker. I mean, if he's going down there... Let's just go straight for his capital. All right, boys, spread out. We're going to out-siege the AI. That never happens. Okay, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, we won the siege of Talam San. I have more artillery than him. I, I fully back us, you know. Especially if I do this. Where are you? Spy the soldiers. Yeah, it's a victory, that. Christ. Apparently, we can scrap with the... Uh, Algerians. I mean, it was a it was a brilliant move to switch to a military uh, state. I think 100% it was. Ooh, hang on. He's retreating somewhere that doesn't have a fort protecting him. Let's get in there. Well, this does change the outlook of the war. Oh, emigration, and it's just what do you mean rebel armies have gained? Oh, right, yeah, they have. I was about to say, what rebel armies have gained control of our nation? And then I look up. It's very much the case. Okay, I'm sure Chad can finish from here. Right, we are running dangerously low on professionalism. That's some more money. The northern coast. I mean, hey, while whilst we're here. Oh, this is this is giving a lot of extension. How much aggressive expansion is that? Great Britain, Italy, Spain. These are not people that you want in a coalition. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. France, Italy, Spain. Okay, let's just let's focus on just the coast then. This land is all desert, but it will give me access to more territory. Don't know if I can take it though. I can't. Okay. Well, let's just focus on this then. Corporations, money. Take a few provinces. End your rivalry with me. Null your alliance with Libya. That honestly works. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. The key part gives us more areas to access. Too few rivals. No one's rivaled us. That's oh, 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 oh. Yes! Is that like the Saudis? The spice flow, boys. Who do we rival? Is there anyone close by? I mean, Nigeria, but that's not really that close. Ethiopia, not close. Egypt's an idea. Imagine you're rival the Saudis. You're not. Okay, well, I don't really want to rival you then. Austria, Czechia, Denmark. You know what? Next time we don't lose Australia in the World Cup! So upset. Most of the Tunisian economy is built off of stealing from other people. Which is not dissimilar from real. There's no need. Okay. Punjab and Sindh. What the hell happened to India? Oh, it wasn't what happened to India, it's what happened to Pakistan. Afghanistan is the Africans. I don't know what that is. Iran is. Now bordering India. What else happened in the world? Kazakhstan's chilling. The rest of the Stans are fine. Bangladesh is done. There's some Min separatists in China. Korea is unified. And I believe that's South Korea is attacked North Korea there. 
because the US guarantees. Has the US been doing anything? Ah, the US has just been chilling. Oh no, wait. They're fighting the American British nationalist war. And you haven't just rolled us? What? Nicaragua and Britain versus the US. Okay. Attack and controls Montserrat. Where's Montserrat? I don't know that you're going to be able to. Wait, William V? Denmark's getting taken out by Sweden. As it all should be. Can I build a nuke? I can construct a nuclear weapon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Recently constructed nuclear weapon. Oh, we're a nuclear state. Yes. Wonderful. Do we head east or do we head into... Well, we can't really head into Europe. Because if I attack, for example, Spain... What? But what happened to the European Union? Is there a European Union? I don't think there is. I think it collapsed. Oh, he keeps on cycling out our rivals. The Belgians, that's right. Okay, Kenya's taking out East Africa. Let's go. I need some pocket money, so... Let's go right. <laughs> Why did we ever stop doing that? Oh yeah, the entirety of uh, everyone who ever had a navy ever wanted us to stop and uh, forced us to. But you know, fair enough. Come up with this 20, it's gone back down. So a smaller force can hold off a larger one. Oh, the Moroccans have accepted peace with the Spanish. And they've taken one. <laughs> they've gone, you know that whole dispute with Western Sahara? I have an idea, boys. If you can't get, if you can't decide, I suppose we will for you. I kind of want to take Crete. Do they have a fort? They don't. Is it a good province? Oh, well, if, if we're projecting power, I mean, you know, really, really Germany, really, I like Algeria. Come on, man, it's my only route of expansion. Well, I'm currently at war with Crete, I suppose. What the hell happened there? <laughs> Stuff like the, the Kenyans beat the French so hard they took land. Well, that's amazing. I mean, I I kind of don't want to attack them because I don't want to fight Kenya. They're terrifying. If they beat the French, they'll beat me. There we go, and this should now be over very quickly indeed. All right, we've got we have Crete. All right. Here's my thinking. The Europeans are going to come at some point, specifically the Italians, uh, very soon. And our money is not going to last forever. We've literally been uh, developing at the expense of the Italians, uh, which has been fantastic. I've been thoroughly enjoying that. But they will come back. In fact, we should probably build a navy to counter them. Not that I don't actually I don't think it's possible, considering 27 ducats when it runs out. I mean, we could, we could, but I don't think it's functional. So realistically, they're probably going to take these islands here and then move on to attack us. But we need enough of an economic base because last time we almost went bankrupt. So I'm thinking if we attack air and we take some Niger provinces like these three, we can start getting into places like this. And stupidly, they get access from Algeria. All right, let's set air to... Siege. Go, go siege. So when you have a thousand troops, go siege around the place. Oh, a thousand ducats are right there. Thank you. That will help greatly in the wars to come. There is a mild coalition, but that's fine. Gives us, like I said, access to Nigeria. They need. Do we want Burkina Faso as well? And why not, right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, sweet. Israel's announces their new rival. Okay. Understandable. It's not like we did anything threatening in the Mediterranean. How do you feel, Taki? What's that? You want my land? You hate me. Cool. And you're with China. The Chinese-Indian imperialist war. Oh, the Indians are winning. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, my boy Corsica. To be fair, we can go ahead and raid the Italians now. So, that's nice. Even if they're not paying us war operations anymore. Okay, I've got an idea. Watch this. First things first. We are going to attack Corsica.
Even at rapid speed, I'm still losing sieges in this game. Okay, that's, that's phase one. Oh my god, Kenya's here. They turned up. How? <laughs> oh, through Libya and then Sudan. Okay. Leave my boys alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> run, Fizan. Run. Oh, there you go, Kenya. Okay, right. Unconditional surrender. This is important now. This is very important what I do next. Some of you may have already caught on. Algeria declared war in Morocco. Standard. Also, Spain's been occupied by Senegal. <laughs> Bold. Okay, here it is. Here's the plan. We go in. We vassalize them. Right? And that will do this. One war for another, but one where I can call in my boys. Fortunately for us, the... Uh, war's mm -hmm. been going on a little bit long enough that they're already on medium, but China has been decked by India. Okay. How's the sound doing? No! <laughs> the Asami's culture's gone! Well, the Asami's culture's there, I suppose. Hmm, where's the navy gone? Got a fusion reactor. Costs a lot of money. What does it do? <gasps> That's nice. Is Jordan your vassal? We get access through Turkey. All right, do we have the numbers? We do. That's just because Saudi Arabia's got insane numbers. Okay. Then let's get them access. There's your path. There's my path as well. Oh my God, they're actually going. I don't know who that is. Kuwait. The Kuwaitis have taken Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> the Arab invasion of Europe begins. Where are the Italian troops? Oh god, there are communists in Kenya. Oh, lovely. Plus 5% discipline, excellent. Oh god, inferior nuclear strength. So, because they have better nukes than us. But that didn't trigger last time because they didn't have nukes. I think it's because we both have nukes. Italy white peace with Kenya. That's fair. Kenya's job was done. They, they, they released Kortska, which enabled all this to happen. There's Chorizo done. 41 days, excellent. Let's go Ferrara. There are so many forts here, man. Saudi Arabian Navy has just been absolutely rinsed by the Italians. I mean, thanks for turning up, though, I suppose. Okay, so Morocco is dead. <laughs> Put simply, Morocco does not exist anymore. Having said that, it's now a very tempting target. The Jura announcement is their new rival, and there are rebels in Crete. There's something going on in the European Union. And I really want to know what it is. Like, how do I see that? I mean, Iceland just got to do it. I don't... That's horrifying. Guess we'll never know. Well, we do know that Azerbaijan is getting take, that is taken out of Iran. Well, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna need a few more men. Okay, good. Uh, also, it showed that the UK was in the Union for a sec, and uh, that's that's weird. Ah, perfect. Future soldier project. I think that puts us on par with uh, the Italians. Yeah, 92. We actually have better Miltec than the uh, than the UK. That's nice. Siege of Napoli. Can we actually get to Messina? Nah, I didn't think they'd let me. That's what we were baiting out. I can't really take much more, given that if I do, Europe kills me. But I can get you to all your alliances with Russia and Spain, the Belgians, Bulgarians. Sounds good to me. And we've taken Sicily. And that's our economy sorted for a little while. Albania wants an alliance. No. Quickly nip in, destroy these rebels. Crete is, of course, Tunisian and always will be. Then we have another little plan to 
deploy. You are allied to Mauritania, who wouldn't come in. That's nice. And we want to take Abda. But as you might have guessed, that's not actually the plan. We are here to vassalize you. Wait, what happened to Malta? Is that Spain now? No, it's Cyprus. <laughs> okay, you actually did, you are able to take it. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, Iran is getting taken out by India, it looks like. Also, Germany really not faring well in the modern day, losing wars to, it appears, everyone. So you're at war with the Netherlands and the German reconquers of Munster because they took it from you last time and now you're losing again. To who? The Netherlands and Cuba. What the? What do you mean you're losing to the Netherlands? Move your troops. What are you doing? <laughs> you could win this. You're just not. All right, I've been holding off on spending any more uh, points because I want to show you this. Look at the building we're building. The development cost is so ridiculously low. But I'm about to. What's our development now? Oh, you're about to finish your hegemony. Oh, you are just a hegemon. Okay, cool. It's currently 374 is our development. And there we go. 547. <laughs> Literally doubled. Well, 500. I don't know how much that is. <laughs> nice. Income just tripled. Rival Nigeria. We can actually rival the French. The French army is weaker than ours, apparently. But I'm going to rival the Italians, because they've been at it all game. Well, technically I should thank them. It was, it was them attacking me initially that gave me the income to be able to do anything, because I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for that. Libby's embraced the internet. Good job, guys. Good job. Meanwhile, it looks like Russia's going off to Greece. Okay. Albania really wants that alliance. I'm tempted to give it to them. They're kind of persistent with it. It's the announcer then your rival. You've created a monster, good sir. Oh, Manzaran, which means Iran has been their rival. Yeah, okay, so the Saudis have taken out Iran. Kazakhstan's getting taken out by uh, Russia. Russia's having a, a decent go of it. Germany's had a shocker of a game. And the US hasn't really done much apart from expand into, well, the islands in the Atlantic over here. Did you take Bermuda? Looks like you took Bermuda. Wait, is that Haiti or the US doing something? Attacker is... Okay. American Kittian National War. So you've allied Tonga. Tonga's feel really good right now. They've been pl planning their uh, invasion of New Zealand thinking, right, we <laughs> lads, we have an opportunity here. There's our truce with Algeria, which is what we were looking for. Fortunately, because of the Netherlands, we can now reconquest. That's one set done. It's a three star general they got there. I mean, I have one as well, but you know, they've got a three star general. That's kind of cool. The difference being, we have a lot more discipline and morale because I've spent the last 20 years or, you know, three decades or so stacking certain modifiers. Because we got our ass kicked um, by that Malta army, and I was I was very shell shocked by that. He doesn't have enough troops to siege down his old province. Oh, that's sad. I don't even know how many troops you need. Oh, we can just peace out. Sweet. There is going to be a coalition, and it is going to consist of France and Spain, but that's okay because we are the undisputed masters of North Africa now. Doing new rival. I can actually rival some of the great powers. Uh, let's rival Spain. That makes sense. The issue is everyone's going to be upset because they're all going to be the same religion. No matter where I conquer. It would be a shame to have all this army and not use it, you know? Let's do it. So Central Africa, Angola, Benin, Sotomi, Prince and Nigeria. an expensive army to maintain this one. Well, Central Africa is about to get taken out already. Let's go ahead and save our boy. There you go. <laughs> Just save him from getting attacked real quick. 
Taking Benin. Not to be confused for with, uh, with Benin. Promise Benin, not the country. Four days on that siege. Excellent. Wider, as in, you know, why the hell did you surrender so quick? Okay, I don't feel good. I don't feel good about that one. What tech are you? 91. Ah, well, you're actually decent. Okay, I'll send you up to do with a 20k and you... There's some more troops over here. Egypt does not have nearly as many troops as I thought they would. Jarba is going to fall for the first time. Jarba has literally never fallen before. But it will represent a bit of a prison for them. Yep. The issue is they can siege stuff back just as fast as I sieged it. So if, not, if I don't really care about Benin, let's just piece them out. What else we got? Angola, Saltame. Looks like Angola's getting taken up by Egypt. Okay, Egypt doesn't have a large army, but they are hideously effective. Oh, they really have been doing it. And thus the pincers snap shut. Alright, there's Angola. Honestly, collecting war pressures from everyone's probably a good idea. just eviscerate you as a state. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna need that war reps. Thank you very much. Cannot be selected because Egypt does not want it. Cannot select thrones because Egypt cannot make it a core. But I don't want to give it to Egypt. I want to give it to me. There you go. That's strange. That's a lot of people. Good. Exactly what we want. And let's just release some states for fun. I'm going to give all this to Fazant. <laughs> yes, I could create a client state and that would be more effective, but I don't want to. Fazant is <laughs> the master of sub-Saharan Africa, apparently. And here comes the coalition. Go ahead and rival our old, old uh, colonial masters of France. In the meantime, let's take that navy of ours. Go ravage Iberia. I should have kept one province. I should have kept one province in Sub-Saharan Africa. Then I could have raided everywhere. I'll raid the Turks and the Bulgarians. Oh, Cyprus is... Oh god, I'm raiding Israel. There we go. And I think we've achieved our aims today. I mean, we we have a ton of money, decent amount of manpower. Not quite a great power, uh, but realistically we can contend with them. Uh... We're allied to one, at least. We're the undisputed masters of North Africa, allied to one. I mean, suppose there's a couple of provinces uh, here and there that we do not possess, but we do cut a scythe down into uh, West Africa itself. We have claimed lands off of the Italians. They've been funding our entire regime. If we look at the development map mode, uh, it's not looking too hot, actually, but Tunis is not bad as a state. But our development is split kind of nicely. We're on par with Europe, at least. So yeah, that's just a quick simulation to show you exactly what's going to happen uh, in the next couple of years. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, you know, not so great if you're Denmark or, uh, I suppose, in China or Pakistan or anyone bordering Russia, really. But, you know, the new world's unchanged. Well, well, <laughs> now that I look at it, no, no, it's a lot of change there. <sighs> In any case, lads, I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you want to see more from the Instead of Timeline mod. Obviously, it goes from the year 2 to, well, the modern day. So, there's a lot of history to play through. I would certainly be down to do this again. Um, so, yeah, if that's something you want to see, please do make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, RedGuard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOwl52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.